Stargazing, Unveiling the Secrets of the Celestial Dancers, Chapter 1. Title, Stargazing, Unveiling the Secrets of the Celestial Dancers Every Night, Just Before Bedtime, Lily loved to go outside and look up at the sky. She called it stargazing. Lily wondered what secrets were hidden in the dark, twinkling sky. She believed that the stars were like celestial dancers, performing their beautiful dance routines high above the world. Lily's grandfather, Mr. Brown, always joined her on these stargazing adventures. He knew a lot about constellations. Constellations were groups of stars forming patterns in the sky. Mr. Brown explained that these patterns helped people navigate and understand the night sky. Look, Mr. Brown said one clear night, pointing upward. Do you see those five stars arranged like a W? That's the constellation Cassiopeia. Lily examined the stars and smiled. I see it, Grandpa. It looks like a queen sitting in a chair. Mr. Brown gave Lily a proud smile. That's right, Lily Cassiopeia is named after a queen from a long time ago. As they continued their stargazing, Mr. Brown showed Lily the imaginary lines connecting different stars. These lines were like a road map in the sky, leading them to other constellations. Look at that bright star, Mr. Brown said, pointing at one particular star. That's Polaris, also known as the North Star. It helps people find their way when they are lost. Lily's eyes widened with excitement. Can I make my own patterns using the stars? Grandpa, of course you can, Lily. Grandpa Brown exclaimed. You can create your very own constellation. Lily pointed to three bright stars in a row. How about these three? Can we make them into a constellation? Mr. Brown nodded. Absolutely. Let's call it Lily's trio. Lily giggled with joy. She loved the idea of having her own constellation in the sky. It made her feel special and important. As months passed, Lily and Mr. Brown continued their stargazing adventures. Lily learned about more constellations, each with its own fascinating story. One night, while gazing at the sky, something incredible happened. Lily noticed that some stars seemed to twinkle faster than the others. Grandpa, do you see that? Lily said, pointing at the stars. Mr. Brown squinted his eyes. Oh, those are shooting stars. Lily, make a wish quickly. Lily closed her eyes and made a special wish. The shooting stars streaked across the sky, leaving behind a trail of magic. Lily knew her wish would come true. Stargating brought Lily and Mr. Brown closer together. They shared special moments under the twinkling sky, pointing out constellations and making up their own stories about the celestial dancers. One day, Lily shared her stargazing experiences with her friend Mia. Mia had never tried it before, but she was curious. Let's go stargazing together tonight, Lily said excitedly. As they looked up at the sky, they pointed out constellations, made patterns using the stars, and even imagined their own celestial dancers. Lily realized that stargazing wasn't just about finding secrets and patterns in the sky. It was about sharing the magic with others. It was about creating moments of wonder, joy, and imagination. As they packed up their blankets and said their goodbyes, Lily whispered to Mia, Remember, the stars are always there, even when we can't see them. We just have to look up and let our imaginations soar. Mia smiled, understanding the beauty and power of stargazing. Together, they walked home, their hearts filled with the secrets and wonders of the celestial dancers high above in the starry sky. Question, what are constellations? Check the video description for the answer. Stargazing, Unveiling the Secrets of the Celestial Dancers, Chapter 2 One evening, Sarah and her younger sister Emma decided to go stargazing. They loved looking at the stars, wondering about the secrets they held. As they lay on a soft blanket in their backyard, they saw the celestial dancers shining brightly in the sky. 
Sarah pointed and said, Look, Emma, those are the celestial dancers. They twirl and sparkle in the sky, creating a beautiful dance every night. Emma gazed up and said, Wow, Sarah, they are so pretty. I never knew stars could dance. Sarah smiled and explained, The celestial dancers are stars that come in different colors. Look, there's a red one. Emma's eyes widened with excitement. I see it. It's so red and vibrant, like a blooming rose in the garden. As they continued to watch, Sarah pointed again and said, Emma, now look, a yellow dancer. Emma giggled and said, Oh, Sarah, it's like a glowing yellow sunflower, swaying in the gentle breeze. Sarah nodded and added, exactly. And see over there, a blue dancer. Emma clapped her hands and said, Oh, it's like a shimmering blue ocean, with waves rolling in the moonlight. They gazed at the stars, amazed by the beautiful colors of the celestial dancers. Suddenly, Sarah noticed a bright light in the distance. Emma, do you see that? It's a white celestial dancer, the brightest one of them all. Sarah exclaimed. Emma gasped and said, Wow, it's like a sparkling diamond in the sky. Sarah and Emma continued stargazing, their imaginations running wild. They wondered what secrets these celestial dancers held. Were they trying to tell them something through their colorful dance? Or maybe they were guiding travelers through the vast universe. The sisters started to make up stories about the celestial dancers. Sarah suggested that the red dancer might be trying to warn everyone about a dragon in the sky. Emma giggled and added that the yellow dancer was probably showing the way to hidden treasure. Sarah then suggested that the blue dancer could be a friendly sea creature, protecting sailors lost at sea. And finally, they imagined the white dancer as a guardian angel, watching over them every night. As they whispered their stories, the stars seemed to glow even brighter as if they were listening to the sisters' tales. Sarah and Emma's hearts filled with joy, knowing they were having their own little adventure right in their backyard. Hours passed, and the sisters finally decided it was time to go inside. They waved goodbye to the celestial dancers, promising to return the next evening. As they got ready for bed, Sarah looked at Emma and said, You know what, Emma? Stargazing is like having a secret conversation with the stars. And every night, they unveil a new secret just for us. Emma smiled sleepily and said, I can't wait to see what secrets they reveal tomorrow, Sarah. And with that, they drifted off to sleep, filled with excitement for their next stargazing adventure. Question, can stars be different colors? Check the video description for the answer.